So Sean Klinger with Vitalmax. Uh, we're in Japan, and it's a pretty rad trip to check out uh, the headquarters, manufacturing facilities of Arai helmets. Uh, the riding is incredible. I mean, obviously it's not dirt, but as far as street bike stuff go, it's the most fun I've had on a street bike. The, the roads are amazing. But really what was impressive was, you know, seeing, seeing the, the factory, the, the headquarters, and how passionate everyone is about the helmets. For example, obviously Mr. Rai and his son, you kind of expect it from them because it's their company, but when when they brought in the helmet expert, someone that's laying up the helmet, the first thing he said to us, it wasn't like, oh, we use this or do this. The first thing he reiterated was that the helmets that he makes is saving lives. You know, he it really showed like the pride that every single employee has because it's it's almost it was almost like a, a religion and they really believe in it. It's it's product over profit, really. You know, it's it's trying to make a helmet that at least in their eyes are the best and most protective. You know, like I said, it's it's not just top down, it's everyone in the factory is dedicated to it. You can see it. Yeah, I think I think what's unique about it, they don't succumb to like gimmicks. They're not chasing fads. Um, something that, that uh, they said which really struck me is that, you know, helmets aren't fashion, they're protection. And a lot of people forget about that. And I, especially in the moto space, there's a lot of helmets out there, really aggressive lines and stuff. It's, it's like they're doing it for the look. You know, people want to look cool. All the moto helmets right now have a lot of the rotational energy management, you know, and it's easy to see that it's a, a lot of stuff inside the helmets, a lot of the different liner systems. And um, sometimes people think that Arai isn't doing anything to, to negate that. Their philosophy is really keep the energy out. Uh, to, so it's, the technology is hard to see because so much of it is in the shell. Uh, it was really cool to hear from the, the shell experts, the guys making the shells and then developing them, is that they're going out and finding crazy expensive super fiber fiberglass materials that are like always cutting edge. Um, they're very expensive, they're very different than what you can just buy and all of that technology is going into the shell and it's just, you know, it's painted, you can't see it, you can't see all the different things going on in there. And um, so that's, that's something that I, I really learned, I knew, but to see how it was all put together and see how much development is, is being done in that realm, is, uh, it's really impressive. Same with the liner, you know, they have, they have 10 different densities of foam to choose from and each helmet that they make they're choosing where to put the different, um, you know, firm or soft EPS, uh, and it's pretty hard to do. And so, when people say, you know, Arai seems outdated or something, at least for motocross, it's really not. I mean, every year they're coming up with new technologies and new things. It's just mostly in the shell. Their moto helmet, it is the most round shape, and some people might think that it, it, it isn't cool, but. I really understand that with a round shape and the, the firm shell material that it is going to slide, it's going to deflect, it isn't going to let a lot of that energy into the, the helmet. I have uh, worn a ride quite a bit. I really like the way that they fit. They work really well for me and I plan to continue.